Good morning, everybody. My shoes squeak so bad when I walk. I think when Nikes get wet, they just tend to squeak. And it's super annoying, and I hate it. I feel so loud walking. <laughs> it's an eat day for me. I have my breakfast right here. Uh, oatmeal with banana, like I, what I've been doing recently. It's just so filling, and it gets me through till lunch. Sometimes I'll go past it. And then um, for lunch, I'm just doing like a sweet potato, and I'm drizzling some of my peanut butter, legendary food, peanut butter, chocolate cup. It's like a Reese's peanut butter, peanut butter basically on top of it. What's up guys? I'm almost home. Not too far anyway. Wanted to update you guys on how my day has gone. Uh, this morning for breakfast I had my oatmeal and banana which is something I've been loving recently for breakfast because it's super filling. I wasn't hungry for lunch but I knew that I was going to be leaving for the escape room soon since we were going to do an escape room with the interns today. Um, ben and I and our manager Tracy so I wanted to eat a little bit of something before I went because I didn't want to be starving. I know the other day I said that I might not eat lunch but um, I did, I made lunch last night, so I was like, I gotta eat this potato or it's gonna go bad. Anyway, um, I was heating up some of the peanut butter cup, peanut butter that I was gonna drizzle on top of the sweet potato and it melted through the container. So I didn't eat like almost half of the potato and I had to throw it away. So I didn't really eat much of a lunch. I did have a protein bar and then we had some small appetizers at Gordon Biersch after we did Breakout KC. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was very difficult. Like I wasn't expecting it to be that difficult, honestly, but it was pretty hard. Um, but we didn't break out. We actually um, weren't that close to breaking out either. <laughs> the clues were not very easy, so that kind of sucked. But I don't know Morse code, and that was part of it. And it was just, I don't know. If you've ever done an escape room before, then you know what I'm talking about, probably. They're not always that easy. It was fun, um, you know. And then we went over to Gordon Biersch, which is a restaurant and a brewery, and I got a flight of um, some really tasty beers, and which is surprising because I don't drink beer, really. And um, afterwards, they had some appetizer stuff, like some toe fries, little flatbread pizzas, and things like that. I had a very small amount of food, though, um, which basically turned out to be my lunch, in other words. And now I am headed home. We're gonna make turkey burgers tonight. I'm super excited about it. I'm trying to figure out what kind of side to make. I'll have to rummage through my freezer and see if I have anything. I'm not really wanting to do french fries. If I could make my cauliflower tots, that would be awesome. But I don't think I have all the ingredients I need for that. I think I need cauliflower and I don't have it. Um, so like I said, I'll just kind of have to play around and see what I have. More than likely, because I did eat the stuff at the restaurant, I'll probably be going over my TDE today, but I'm not really upset about it because I can't care anymore um, to that aspect. Of course, I do plan on still watching what I eat, stuff like that, but I did enjoy myself today and ate out uh, you know, some of the small appetizer stuff and it's not that big of a deal. It's not like I sat down and had an entire pizza and a giant cheeseburger and all that. It was just very small finger food, basically. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go inside and start kind of playing around with what I do have so I can make dinner. And um, tomorrow's Friday, so I'm super excited about it. I was thinking about this earlier. Yesterday I could have went ahead and had an entire meal but instead, after having the mixed nuts and the protein bar last night, I was fine after that. I didn't need to eat an entire meal. So it's kind of like if I do have to eat a little bit of something to help me get through the day, that's going to be a lot better than eating an entire meal. Um, so it made me feel a little bit better about eating and just everything that I've really come to discover the past couple days. So anywho, I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you guys later on this evening. 
we just got done watching cast away after dinner where i made turkey burgers with my cauliflower tots that i haven't made in a really long time which turned out okay i forgot to spray the pan though so they kind of stuck to it a little bit which is always a bummer but anyways i had my burger get her tots and then we watched a movie i think i stopped eating around 7.15 probably, so I'll start my fasting calculator again to see how I can make it through tomorrow. I feel okay right now, but earlier this week I felt okay on you know, my fasting day, and then by the end of the day I was like, I need something, so hopefully tomorrow I can make it through a little easier. It'd be nice anyway. It felt weird coming home and not having to work out since I did it this morning, but I love that feeling, honestly. If I didn't have to get up so early, I would work out every morning before work. It just helps me energize my day and helps me, um, get through it and then I have the whole evening to myself to do whatever I want which is nice but I don't like getting up at 4 15 every morning I'm so tired in other words I'm gonna let you guys go so I can go to bed talk to you tomorrow morning I got halfway to work and realized that I never made coffee for myself this morning so I stopped a quick trip and grabbed a cup which I wasn't wanting to do. Ian and I are gonna start trying to use the Dave Ramsey cash system just to, to save up some money and stuff for the wedding and I wasn't wanting to use any money so I guess that'll come out of my coffee fund that I had originally planned on putting more envelopes and stuff. But um, anywho, I am on the way to work. It's a fasting day. I really wanna make it through these next 38 hours. I think for me to break, I can break at um, seven, 15-ish. I think I stopped eating around 7.15 and um, that would be about what 9.15 tomorrow morning so that's not bad especially if I can sleep in tomorrow because I'm exhausted and not want to wake up this morning but I am. It's Friday. It's the last day of the week. I gotta keep positive. We'll get through this day and it'll be the weekend so anywho that's what I am doing this morning. When I get off tonight I'm gonna be finishing day three of the C25K which I'm really not looking too forward to. I am so sore this morning from yesterday's workout. Holy cow. I don't feel like I did much else from what I normally do, but um, I didn't take as long as rest periods. I did more reps in a way and um, just really pushed myself and uh, yeah, I'm re really, really sore. <laughs> um, besides that though, Bloat wise, I don't feel too terrible today, but I'm not gonna try to focus on my bloat so much anymore. I can't let that define me anymore. That's one of my biggest problems I've told you guys is that I'm always looking at my body and my bloat. I can't focus on that anymore. So, um, anywho, I am getting ready to cross kind of a busier intersection. So I will let you guys go and talk to you later on this afternoon. I'll let you know how this day goes. Fingers crossed I can make it through the whole one. I figure while I'm sitting here in bumper to bumper traffic, hardly moving at all, I would vlog and tell you guys how my day went. Had another struggle day, basically. Um, like I've said though, I can't be mad at myself anymore. I held out till about noon and I had to have a protein bar. Um, I've been incredibly hungry and incredibly sore today, so I think my body is looking for something to repair itself from the working out that I did yesterday, and because I'm not giving it much of anything, and Ian pointed out to me, a lot of people in the comments on my last video were saying that a lot of the reason why I'm probably struggling a little bit more to get through the day is because I don't have a lot of body fat left anymore, so my body doesn't really have anything to feed off of in the fasting state you know so um, I think that might be part of why I'm so hungry too which does make sense to me I could see that being you know, part of it but um, yeah I've been really hungry today like I said I had a protein bar around noon and then um, I left for break and I went to Marshall's and I tried on some dresses and I was looking at myself in the mirror there and I think my whole new outlook on um, you know what I have is loose skin and finally admitting that to myself and not being so much in denial I'm really seeing the changes in my body I can see muscles around my midsection that I couldn't see before and I think I had my blinders down and whenever I was in the mirror there and I was looking at my body I realized how small I have gotten and um, I don't know, it was just, it was kind of comforting in a way to see uh, that my body has changed a lot and I'm slimmer than I originally or have been thinking that I am. 
anyway but like I said I went to Marshall's tried on some clothes noticed my body in the mirror and then I went back to work the reason I went to Marshall's in the first place is because I was wanting to distract myself from wanting to eat anymore after the protein bar which did help but um, I came back to work and it just it the hunger it was there there's no fighting it I've drank water I've done coffee I've done what I can to try to get myself to stop feeling so hungry and it's not working so I had an apple and some vegetables that I had at work yesterday that I had brought for a snack and um, I'm still hungry I'm at about 380 calories right now but I'm gonna have to eat something else today because this uh, hunger is making me almost sick and that's not good I don't want to feel sick so I need to eat and that's fine my body is needing the food that my body is needing the substance so I'm gonna do it in other words I did fast for 16 hours today so I mean if anything there's that that happened which is good um, I don't think I'm gonna run night because of how sore I am and how my body is feeling right now with the hunger and stuff so I'll probably add the running for C2 5k um, day three into my exercise tomorrow since tomorrow would be an eat day and would be an exercise day for me um, so I'll just add it in there and do it then um, but anywho like I said I'm stuck in traffic this is worse traffic oh there's a freaking stalled vehicle left lane closed ahead I need to get over I'm gonna let you guys go so I can um, do that thing because this is ridiculous <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I got up early this morning and did my workout. And while I was warming up for my workout, I like pulled something in my groin, which is fun. And so I wasn't able to do C25K like what I wanted to today, even though by the end of my workout, I did feel better. I didn't want to overdo it. So I decided not to just do it and I'll do it tomorrow um, when I wouldn't be working out normally. Sorry, I'm like going sideways here. I'm trying to stir oatmeal. But um, anyway, so I did that this morning, switching hands, and then I uh, showered. I am making me some oatmeal for breakfast, and then I gotta get ready because we're doing my aunt's celebration of life today. So far today, I've had some mixed nuts, about a tablespoon of almond butter, and a tablespoon of this legendary peanut butter cup stuff that I talked to you guys about. For those who are keto, it has four net carbs per serving, so I think it's considered a keto one. I have a couple friends who are keto that eat it and they really enjoy it. So something to think about if you are interested in some kind of a delicious snack, which is super dangerous. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of it in my um, oatmeal though, whenever I get done with it here. Don't know how many calories I've had so far today because of that. I have no idea what we're doing for lunch, um, if there's gonna be food at this thing or not, but I'm not really thinking too much about that right now because it's not for that reason. We're not going there for that reason. Uh, last night I didn't vlog, mostly because I got kind of tired and just didn't. <laughs> um, I came home and I did eat. I probably ate about a thousand calories if I'm completely honest and all, just because I was so hungry. And I ate until I was almost full. I didn't want to overdo it, but just in general I did eat and I felt so much better. I can't tell you guys how much better I felt after eating. And then, um... Ian and I went on a walk. It was a little bit over two miles, I believe, according to my phone, but we just walked around the block with Bowser, um, and it's about two miles to do that. So I did get in some exercise yesterday because I wasn't really able to do much walking at work um, yesterday during the day. So it's nice um, that I was able to get in a little bit of exercise yesterday, even though I wasn't able to do C2 5K because I was so sore. I'm not doing the C25K today because I pulled something in my groin and because I'm still really sore. I definitely have second day soreness. So I think tomorrow I'll be better and I'll be able to run fine. So anywho, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can eat my oatmeal. Just got done and I'll talk to you guys later. We actually weren't gone for as long as I thought we were gonna be today. Um, I don't even know what time we got home, if I'm completely honest. I wasn't really paying attention. But we went up and did the celebration of life for my aunt. Um, they had some cookies and fruit there. I had probably 
three or four cookies, I'm not gonna lie. Um, a little bit of fruit. And then afterwards we went to 54th Street and got some uh, lunch. We had tater cakes and I got the chicken fried chicken. I didn't eat all of it. And we had like a dessert. Um, I haven't eaten anything since then. So there's that. I'm tired though. Uh, we have a guest with us. We brought my mom's dog home, Coco, to play with Bowser. And um, she's been more just chilling than playing. So it's fine. It's whatever. But it's been just kind of a nice relaxing evening for Ian and I. We haven't had to do anything, which is really nice because we're always doing something. But uh, not really too much else to report. It's about 9 o'clock now. We'll probably be going to bed eventually. And nothing will really happen between now and then. But I wanted to update you guys and let you know how the day went. It went well. Don't know what my calories were. Probably won't be counting them because it doesn't really matter. So, anywho, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning. ready to run out the door and just remembered I hadn't vlogged yet today. Oops, my bad guys. It's Sunday, obviously. Happy Sunday. This morning for breakfast I made eggs benedict which ended up being like 800 calories. Yikes, a lot. Wasn't expecting that. I'm still not hungry though, so it's already two o'clock and I'm not eating, which is good. Um, I'll probably eat something later for dinner or something, but right now not really feeling the food situation. Um, I got up and I went grocery shopping this morning and then uh, came home and my mom got here and we're gonna go to the beach and lay out and hopefully get some sun for the summer. So I'm excited about that. I haven't been to the beach yet this year, um, to like our lake beach anyway. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Probably get a little darker, maybe get some more freckles, which I like the most. My dogs, or the dogs, are being loud and rambunctious because my mom is outside. I don't remember if I talked much about yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did vlog last night and then said I wasn't gonna vlog anymore before going to bed. So I'm gonna cut this off here because they're getting anxious. And I will talk to you guys later on. Well guys, I basically just got done eating dinner, which was kind of later than planned, but I got done. I had grilled cheese because I've been craving a grilled cheese for a while now and finally I was just like, I'm just gonna make myself grilled cheese. So I did. Um, we got back from swimming earlier and I went downstairs and I ran. I finished C25K week three, day three. So I'll be starting week four, day one tomorrow, which I'm kind of excited about. I feel like week four was easier than week three from what I remember, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I did eat today. I think basically <laughs> without even planning on it, I've switched to a three, four fasting schedule or four, three fasting schedule, however you want to look at it, which is fine with me, honestly. It's taken off a lot of stress um, when it comes to fasting and stuff, but I do know that I did break this week more than what I wanted to. But I'm not mad at myself about it because I can't be anymore. Um, I'm still fasting. I still fasted quite a long time. I'm still in a calorie deficit. I'm still working my butt off like crazy to make sure that I am definitely burning more calories than I'm consuming, which is the whole point. So we'll see how this next week goes. I really want to push myself and see if I can make it through um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday without breaking. But it's just been really hard with all the exercise and working out and stuff I've been doing. It's harder to get through those days. And you know that that happens. Um, but I have been fasting as well. Um, honestly, as long as I can cut out 3,500 calories a week, that's a pound. And I know that I do that, so there's that. <laughs> Anywho, I'm trying to think of anything else to report to you guys that happened today besides swimming. I did run, I'm glad that I ran. Um, I wanted to make a video this weekend called My Experience with Alternate Day Fasting and time got away from me and I didn't have a chance to. So I'm gonna try to do that this week actually sometime. Um, see if I can get that out there so you guys can see my experience a little more. Just looking in the camera, I can tell you guys you can see the red that I got on my face from the sun today. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'll talk to you a little bit more before bed and uh, see what else happens tonight. Alrighty guys, so just within the last two hours, my mindset has gone from not really caring to I feel terrible about myself. And I've been talking to my best friend Hannah and just trying to figure out what I want to do. And she's been really supportive and um, helpful and stuff like that. Um, basically it's <laughs> that time of the month for me. So I've been really emotional 
and I've been so bloated and I weighed myself, which I shouldn't have done um, because a woman can gain anywhere from three to five pounds during that time of the month. Um, and you know, the scale has gone up a little bit from the last time I weighed myself. So I'm going to reweigh myself whenever I'm done with this whole awful monthly cycle and hopefully it'll go back down. Um, but I have been constantly thinking about this DECA scan and she kind of talked me into finally doing one. So I'm going to talk to Ian about it and see if I, if I should do it, could do it, or can do it on my next paycheck, which is next week, I think. Um, just saving aside, you know, $150 and just going and doing it because I feel like it'd give me a clearer mind um, and make me feel better. Of course, right now my emotions are crazy. My hormones are going off the charts and I'm just so, like I said, bloated and just all that from that. So that doesn't help at all. Um, but I just need to do something, I think, to ease my mind on my body and I've been working like crazy this past month, you know, I, I work out six days a week now. I don't work out every other day anymore. That's a lot. And um, I know I've been eating more and breaking my fast more often, but it's because my body needs me to. I need to keep that in mind. It's not like I'm breaking just because I want to. I'm breaking because I'm actually hungry. Um, if I can't get the hunger feeling to go away, then I'm eating and that's fine. That's, that's a normal human reaction. I'm going to try to review my meals and stuff again and see what I can do to help maybe fill me up a little bit more, keep me full the next day, um, more fiber, higher protein, stuff like that probably. I'm not really sure. I'm always searching for new and exciting things, I guess, but I really want to find some good lunches or something because I always struggle with my lunches more than anything, I feel like. Um, meal prepping to know what to take for work and stuff like that but anyway that's my goal is to save up $150 to get the scan done to see what my body is at and I think that'll make me feel a lot better I hope it'll make me feel a lot better once I find out I need to get those results to see what I can do to better myself or change myself if I need to get rid of the negative fat on my stomach area which is going to be the hardest to get rid of because I've had it forever. But I just think if that was gone or if I at least knew what I had and what I need to work on, that would help. Who knows? Cardio definitely helps. And I know the kitchen, what you make in the kitchen also helps. So just some things to think about for sure. But anywho way past my bedtime it's like 10 20 or something like that so i gotta go to bed um i'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this week's vlog though and uh say thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this week's vlog i really appreciate it and i will catch you guys on the next one mm -hmm.